Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog here, and I'm back for some more of yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Mario Kart Super Circuit for the Game Boy Advance. So last time, we have managed to complete the forms of Lightning Cup, and that was an interesting experience because even then, we haven't exactly explored onto another installment of the Bowser Castle tracks for just for quite a while. And so what if we get onto Star Cup until next weekend, and then the weekend after that, we'll hit onto the last Bowser Castle level, basically, which we'll discuss more about it later. So either way, uh, today for this episode is the fact that obviously we're going to be now hit onto uh, the next extra cup for this point today, and because of that, we are now doing extra Lightning Cup, which has Bowser Castle 2, Mario Circuit 3, and I believe Koopa Beach 1, and finally Choco Island 2. So either way though, let's get to it with Bowser Castle 2, specifically from Super Mario Kart. And let me tell you right off the bat though, ever since the journey forms of our Let's Play of Super Mario Kart, I'm actually not a big fan of this stage, because, well, for whatever reason, they just, I just seem to able to actually, I don't know, suck at this kinds of tracks, or it's probably because of how the fact that in this particular track's case, um, they just managed to force us to try to deal with the forms of a lot of sharp curves, a lot of turns you have to be super precise with, and, well, unlike in the original Super Mario Kart, there was actually a... A little bit of an edge that you can able to go to, but it turns out I don't know if I actually tested out for myself for this point. This is probably because because of how the fact that I haven't really played that much of uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit for quite a while, or especially noticeable with uh, Super Mario Kart. But either way, though, ever since the very beginning of the year. So either way, though, hopefully I'll try my best if I was going to be able to try to do this in a nice run as possible as much as I could. So, either way though, I can at least expect something out of it. So, either way though, there goes Bowser trying to slow down. Yeah, as you can see on screen, I'm actually going to be selecting Wario this time around because, well, come on Nintendo, where's the new Wario Land game? I mean, usually I've already established that ever since forever though, but where's the forms of the next Wario Land game? And, hello? Yoshi? Isn't that Yoshi? Just got stuck onto the forms of that wall? Hold on a minute, let me just go on to the forms of the final lap and just to see if what the heck is going on with Yoshi. In fact, kind of think about it, you can be able to see on the map. So even then though, yeah, onto that exact spot that you have to go for these little square by square. Look at him! He got stuck! Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> oh my god, I feel so sorry for you, Yoshi, especially how um, you were doing so well during the past few cups ago, but I'm so sorry. I am really, 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 really so sorry, Yoshi, for able to feel so bad for you that you get stuck onto that wall for almost instant. Well, specifically in lap 4 and especially noticeable in lap 5, but dear lord, man. <laughs> anyway, so let's move on to Mario Circuit 3. So, obviously that track will obviously make the comeback, you know, from the likes of in Mario Kart Wii, and recently Mario Kart Tour, so there's no point for able to discuss on that again, so even then, uh, one thing I should probably point things out right away, that uh, this track can get pretty tricky in a uh, Super Circuit version of that specific track alone. That's probably because of how the fact that I seriously swear to god I was gonna able to try and pull off some steady drifts and all that stuff, but most of the time I just keep on driving into sand and all that stuff. So that could be a little bit of a problematic, I feel like. So and also as you probably noticed something, in every single of those Mario Circuit tracks, and specifically in the extra tracks department in this game, there are no pipes around here. So I'm guessing it's probably because well, I suppose that intelligence systems has been completely forgotten, able to add some a lot more visual variety in terms of uh, obstacles or anything like that. But I don't know, I'm just a little bit too nitpicking, and now I'm stuck onto that wall. But we're not on the same track as before, but we're actually on the different track as opposed to Bells and Castle 2, so. But you know, you get the idea for that solution right here, so either way though, um, I suppose that today's day is the forms of, um, well, I would say today it is, um, 
Well, let's say the 12th of uh, July today in 2020, and oh yeah, today is the marks the seventh year anniversary of the Mario and Luigi uh, Dream Team Brothers release in the UK. So even then, though. Well, generally speaking, also, is the fact that the UK version of Monsters University on the big screen has also came out for seven years also. Well, technically, that film has already, be, already become uh, seven years old at this rate since the Americans release in June 21st or something like that. I think if I remember correctly, it might have been done. So even then, no, gee, I can't believe that film has been out for about seven years now. Until when it gets to the point, until likely until uh, 2023, it will be 10 years. Like, good grief. Why does the time itself just manage to go flying by? But I'm guessing it's probably because there's not much else we can do. Like, we can't go out somewhere because of that, you know, the coronavirus situation. But, you know. But I digress. So, either way, though, as you can see, we're now going to be heading to the forms of Cooper Beach 1. Easily one of the shortest tracks in the entirety of, not only in terms of this cup, but it's also in the forms of the, the, the shortest track ever in terms of Super Mario Kart's history. So either way though, because I managed to complete several flaps, like usually under 15 seconds or something, but usually relatively speaking, that, that track is like super short and, well, there's just not much else to it. But you know, there's not much else we can really just try and discuss up on here, apart from the fact that we did manage to, well, become a number one after all. So, relatively speaking, yeah, we did manage to beat this for about uh, an under a minute, which, either way, it's pretty short. Like, literally super short. And now let's head on to Choco Island 2, where basically, you know, we have to do the exact same thing as before. So, either way, though, we'll just uh, leave it up to that. Well, in terms of, you know, we've already experienced, or we've already shown you guys this track for about three times now, specifically, well, technically speaking, uh, unless if you want to count uh, 100cc in Super Mario Kart, as well as 150cc also in the, well, in Mo uh, Super Mario Kart, that leaves us for about uh, the fifth time seeing Choco Island 2, where eventually that, you know, it does make its return in Mario Kart Tour, which I'm sure that most toys already know about this ever since then. So either way, there's no point for discussing all that stuff though, apart from the fact that we're missing some piranha plants, as you can see. But yeah, you get the idea for that solution right here. I suppose there's another thing I would discuss upon, and that was the fact that with the coins mechanic system in this game, Unlike in Super Mario Kart, where basically that, um, I'm assuming coins were able to give you some more speed and stuff like that. Um, usually in this game this time around though, uh, what the coins is used for is that aside from able to actually unlocking the extra, uh, cups and stuff like that during Grand Prix or extra tracks as far as I like to call it that, um, what the do, huge difference between that this time around is the fact that every time you're able to bump into one of your uh, racers or rifles or anything like that, uh, you'll lose a coin. And then if you manage to let your coins counts go to zero, uh, what happens is, is that if you get bang into another player, you you get spin out. So even then, though, the best way to able to grab some more coins, thankfully there are about, I would say 55 of them in each track, I'm assuming so anyway though, which... Again, it's been such a long while since I actually managed to play this game from time to time. Whilst, usually I just managed to play this game for quite a bit since uh, back in April, just to, get, just to get a little bit more practice with it. So, either way though, you get the idea for that solution. Unfortunately, I did manage to claim third place on Choco Island 2 because I accidentally slipped up by that banana peel right here. Oh well, we'll take a D. So anyways, we'll get out the endings off at this point right there, I'm afraid, guys. So join me next weekend for more of Let's Play of Mario Kart Super Circuit. It's that we are about to be doing the Star Cup and the Extra Star Cup in between Saturday and Sunday, respectively. So see you guys next weekend. Later, fellas.